Concerning the TMT, that is the Tesla magnifying transmitter. This is something that Nikola Tesla invented quite some time ago. It has to do with the use of antenna to um, harness and direct signal through the core of the planet. As this takes place, and if the signal is transmitted at a certain frequency, it is continually reinforced so that it builds up what can only be termed a um, aggressive pulse. As the aggressive pulse runs through the molten core of the planet, it is further energized. It picks up huge amounts of energy, actually harnesses this energy, and then by uh, adjusting the frequency at the input, one can adjust where this energy that has been harvested uh, can be released. Tom Bearden of Huntsville, Alabama has done a lot of work on studying the Tesla magnifying transmitter. Uh, Bernard Eastland, who invented HARP, basically came right out and said that HARP is a form of the magnifying transmitter that Tesla initially invented. He said that Mr. Tesla would be proud, and I'm sure he would be, because Bernard has taken it one step further because of the technology we have available today. They can use multiple um, transmitting antenna in tandem. This is called a phased array. They can also then use it to really highly adjust portions of the atmosphere so that these bouncing arounds of energy can be used for many different things at many different levels. Bearden says that you can, it's a, the premier weather machine. You can affect the jet streams, the vapor rivers that are in our atmosphere, all kinds of things. And you can dump the energy quickly or very minutely, very progressively, very um, across a short or long period of time. As this different type of uh, dumping of the energy that's harvested as these signals go through the molten core, um, different conditions occur. Some are very violent and result in fireballs on the surface, lightning storms like you've never seen. Other times, and more common if you keep your eyes open and look, ah, what is that I hear? You know what that is. That's the police state. And they are everywhere. They're not out fixing roads. They're out there busting people full because the people are getting out of hand or whatever. Who knows what's going on? I don't know. Those guys put their lives on the line for peanuts, you know. They're ridiculous. Maybe they like the authority. Maybe it's because it's basically 99% of the time an easy job. I don't know. I honestly don't know why they would do something un-American like that. Back to the TMT. The Tesla magnifying transmitter in phased array can be witnessed across entire cities now. All these antenna are wired so that they can be controlled with one computer, one program used in phase array. This multiplies the output of any transmissions that are used through the phase array magnitudinally. I mean, at a different magnitude, at a higher magnitude. So, the, the phased array, the magnifying transmitters that utilize the core's uh, energy, the core of the planet's energy to obtain all different kinds of effects and phenomena, not least of which is behavior modification on the surface. This is something that's been going on for quite some time and the technology is perfected. It's used to control tectonics, it's used to control magnetohydrodynamics, which is rain making or other things along those lines. They, their real uh, goal is to be able to create violent storms and tornadoes wherever they want, and then they can blame that on God, you know, that's the way they are. It's all written in insurance clauses like that, acts of God and things like that. So you can see the plan right below the surface now. A lot of people are wigging out because this is becoming manifest. People like me are seeing it, putting it up here on YouTube. A lot of times they'll try to... Uh, pawn us off as uh, uneducated nuts, but um, people do have eyes and eventually they do see and then then the tables are turned on these people who would label you uh, derisively because then the people know that they're just a bunch of liars and freaks that 
or mind controlled. One more thing about the TMT, if they're removing lots of energy from the molten core, this is the way they are. This is the problem with these people. They do not see the long-term effects or they do not see how something over here at position A can affect something miles away at position B, even though it's in their face daily. By removing this energy from the core of the planet, it actually slows down our re rotation, which is an extremely uh, necessary speed. Extreme, you know, you could throw it into crustal displacement easily if this thing just deviates just a little bit. Now, if we had control of the entire grid across the solar system, all that could be adjusted, but then we'd be pulling, of course, power out of the sun directly, and the sun has it to spare, and if it goes red dwarf, uh, it's not going to go red dwarf in any time soon, unless we do something that we're not aware of and causes, you know. But this is the kind of power that they're dealing with, and they're not admitting it to themselves, and they're certainly not admitting it to us, and we can only just hang on tight.